Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. I would like to thank each and every one of you for giving your time, watching the videos and subscribing, liking and sharing the video. In today's video, I would like to created this which is my own version of it so I will share with you the idea it's okra curry the windy curry is kind of going to be dry curry not very wet so let's get on with the video and if you do like me to do these videos in Hindi please let me know in the comment box so this one is going to be in English so first you need to wash the okra and then after that you have to pat it dry and then you chop it I chopped it to just uh, little pieces you can do a little bit larger sizes if you like so we're going to start our heat and in the pan we'll use some oil so I'm going to be using about between one to two tablespoon oil not too much in fact cooking okra you do need little bit extra oil because if you don't have enough oil it will be a little sticky so we'll heat up our oil and then to that oil I'll be putting one tablespoon of cumin seed and pinch of asaphodia hang this one you usually put to most of the cooking when you begin the cooking this is kind of spice really good for your digestion so it's better to use this on each and every cooking so i'm going to add that and once it starts getting lightly brown then i'm going to add my bhindi which is okra we call it Vindi in Hindi. And to this one, when it gets a little bit more, seed will start getting heated up and the cumin seed will start splattering. That time, I'm going to add about four or five cloves of garlic. At this point, you can add ginger and onion too, but this one I will just make it with the garlic. You can make a different variation adding onion, ginger. So I will let the garlic and the cumin seed get little bit brown. But make sure never burn your cumin seed. If you burn your cumin seed then your food will be bitter. So when it's getting cooked at this point you can add the tomatoes and the cilantro or you can add after cooking the bindi. Little bit when the bindi gets a little bit cooked then you can add it. So I'm just going to use my tomatoes and cilantro at this point. So when your tomatoes are little bit cooked, then you can add your okra. So you leave your tomatoes cook about 5 minutes. You can cover it and bring down the heat and then let it cook about 5 minutes. After I put the tomatoes, I put one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of turmeric to it and let the tomatoes cook about 5 to 10 minutes cover. 
so this way the tomatoes will be soft once it is soft and little bit cooked then I will add the okra so tomato has been cooking for five minutes now now I can see it's kind of little bit cooked now at this point I'm going to add the okra So you mix it properly, the okra and the tomatoes and this one going to be dry curry. Now that's why at the beginning I told you we need a little bit of more oil than what we usually use because so this one requires a little bit extra oil. Now to this I'm going to use as I mentioned to you, I always use a spice blend. I do not use like 10 different kinds of spices. So this is a spice blend called Achar Ghost. This is a spicy meat masala. I'm going to use this one about one teaspoon. So I added about one teaspoon of the spicy ghost masala, which is spicy meat masala. You can get these masalas at your local grocery store, either Indian or Pakistani grocery store, you can find these masalas. Now you don't need to use any water in it. You just reduce the heat and let it cook for cover. 10 to 20 minutes but be sure to check it every now and then and toss it around so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. Bring your heat to completely very low and let it cook for 10 to 20 minutes. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. So our okra is been cooking about 20 minutes now. Let's check and see how it is. So you see it looks like it's done. Just to make sure it's done, you have to just taste one of these to see. At this point it seems done. Some people like okra a little crunchy and some people like very well cooked. So depending on how is your taste, you can cook it either 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So I will let it cook till 30 minutes and then I'll transfer it in a bowl and sew it to you. At this point the okra really tastes good. At the end you can just check the spices and the salt and if it's needed add little bit extra salt and little bit of any kind of masala. So I try to use a masala blend. It's much easier on cooking than adding 10 different masalas. Let me transfer it in a bowl and sew it to you. So our okra is ready and it's really dry and spicy and very yummy. You can eat this one either with rice, brown rice, white rice or bread or you can even eat it with puri. So this was very easy to do it and we did it in, in within 30 minutes and it required very little ingredients. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video and I will be seeing you with many many more other videos gardening cooking dress decorating dress designing and eventually i'll be going into dressmaking as well i need to set up my machines and everything thank you so much bye bye have a great day